Welcome everybody, I'm Chiara Di Biase and I'm here at PCR London Bulb 2024 to discuss together about late breaking trials of this edition. One of that is the Compare Tavi trial. And I'm happy to be here with the PI of this trial, Christian Tickles. So thanks Christian for being here with us. Can we give us some insights on the design of this trial? Yes, yeah, so Compare Tavi was uh investigator-initiated study where we randomized patients one-to-one. -one. We included 1,031 patients and we randomized them to either treatment with my valve or the Safin 3 Ultra uh, transcatheter heart valve to see if there were any differences uh, in outcome, in one-year outcome. So, a design of comparing two balloon expandable platforms. So, which are the results of this trial? So, the primary endpoint was a composite of death stroke, moderate or severe aortic regurgitation or moderate or severe valve deterioration. And you cannot define that until after one year. So we, we did it at one year where we found that uh, my valve was non-inferior to Safin with regard to the primary endpoint. It occurred in 13.8% versus 13% of patients. So just to be sure, the population you included was tricuspid patients, right, for aortic stenosis? Actually, we aimed for an all-comma design. So we had the only inclusion criteria were that you have to have a TAVI procedure performed from the femoral axis. So we included bicuspid, valve in valve, even patients who got basilica procedures. And in fact, among all the patients that we treated at three sites in Western Denmark, we randomized 79% of patients. So it's truly an all um population. So I will say that definitely we have a new platform, a balloon expandable one that is on the market and with that device we can probably treat more patients than before and we can guarantee a very long lasting and we will see probably with future follow up at longer da data. Christian, thanks for showing us this trial and these results and for having been with us. You're welcome.